Um, the poems in, the, in this book, in this short chat book, are all narrative poems, and this is one of those. It's called Triumph of the Will. Any of you seen the, uh, the Triumph of the Will movie, uh, um, which was made in the 30s in Nuremberg and celebrated the, the uh, Hitler's rise to power? It's a, considered a classic propaganda movie. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it's, it's incredible to watch, but it's also utterly evil. And uh, anyway, that's where the title comes from. I had two encounters with fascists when I was traveling as a young, very naive um, lad in Europe many years ago. And now I'm an old, naive lad uh, living in Abbotsford. <laughs> uh, triumph of the will. First uh, episode happened in Rome. After seven days, I was bored with Roman ruins, barely glanced at the crumbling pillars, the pompous busts, and the Italian drivers were crazy as teen Caesars, blowing black the marble faces of men who once ruled the world, irrelevant now. Modern Rome, modern Rome was cured of slavery and plague and care. Marching feet, the roar of male voices, the sound of combat, I heard it from blocks away. This wasn't stale history. The clamor moved and grew. It had squadrons legs, the rumble of men on a mission. And I couldn't resist. Followed the sounds of invasion, discovered a plaza littered with thousands of pamphlets, leaflets, newsprint, but otherwise nearly empty. A few men stepping through these modern ruins. I was curious. Just recently a student, he was a cosmos of artifacts to be decoded. I picked up a pamphlet, and then I saw them. A band of young men, stylish, bully boy, correct lips and hair, swagger of rightness and a gait of victory, stepping up, menacing, he wagging a finger in my face. No, 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 he said and battered bodies in the brightness of his eyes. I'd lost the safety of tourist status. They were aching to pry my bones apart. But I can't even read it, I said. I don't know Italian. <laughs> and he stopped, suddenly amiable, mentor to a foreign barbarian. They were communists, he said. We fascists drove them out of the square. Do you know what fascist is? He was middle class, charming stylish in trousers and cardigan, with an easy smile, alien to Himmler and Goebbels, educated, flawless English, his phrases perfectly ranked. So you're Canadian, he said. We fascists, we respect your social credit, Major Douglas. And we talked for a quarter hour, his friends shuffling behind him, curious, watching me, admiring him under a tolerant blue Roman sky and temples tottering into bloody centuries and mass graves squirming in the subway and do you want to talk, brother? The hate kinked in our gut. It can all be explained. And then an episode from Barcelona, uh, probably just a few, a few weeks earlier, actually. In 1976, old fascist Franco was dying. Barcelona wasn't very safe, despite the restrictions. Hookers, panhandlers, petty thieves peering through the windows of our decrepit van. But the paella was superb, and Picasso still living. I walked the old town, pleasantly lost in the labyrinth, inhaling the aromas of seafood and wine and gutter dropping a precious coin to a hustler's bullshit story, warmed by the breezes of tourist Spain and the street noise throbbing from cobblestone into my young feet. But the square was still, a tableau. Barely a square, really, more a bulge in the streets, a claustrophobic clutter of venerable stucco and hemmed in by police cars. La Guardia Civil, Franco, Franco's troopers. A huddle of students off to one side, standing motionless. No placards or chants, 
just a breathing protest against boot, bomb, and bathos. The police waited. The hour stretched into the instant before a detonation. Everyone in that square understood the epiphany of the Billy Club. And the cops made their move. A pre-planned rush, wordless, a dash across the square, the students waiting, standing, and the cops picked him out. You see what is necessary. We will explain, dragged him in his trousers and cardigan, unspoken, as the police car swallowed him and the remaining students standing, the return of stillness as they drove him away, and would he survive the night? But I was crazy with rage, didn't share the stillness of the hour. I walked through its center, glared at the cop behind the wheel, defying him to disappear me, and the living ghosts, and the fluttering dead, and a young student scream, breaking silence, I won't talk today, brother, you and your electrode smile. 